Order of operation is about the journey that your body takes as you try to do a posture. So the order of, a, order of operation in the series or in each pose is a setup of the pose. That's what's first. We're setting up your body and how to be in a good position to then move from there into the pose. So it's the setup. And then, it, and then once we've got the setup, we move into the posture, then we do alignment. You'll hear the cues. Bring your right shoulder forward. Bring your left hip forward. Two hips in the one line. So we're making sure that everything is lined up. Now we have everything lined up. Then we move into depth of the posture. So the order of operation is setup, alignment, depth. And you will hear that in every posture that we teach. So when you are doing the setup of the posture, you want to do it correctly because that will determine how you move forward in the next step of the pose. So if we say arms over the head sideways, how you bring your arms over the head will determine where you land. Because if you go like this, shoulders are opened up, lats are all stretching, beautiful. But if you go like this, maybe you land here. Okay, so now it's going to be really hard for you to do the next step because of the way you did the steps before it. So the setup of the posture will determine the pose itself. After we set up the pose and we move into the posture and we start giving you those alignment cues, the alignment cues are there as a check-in. Check in with yourself. You do not necessarily perform every alignment cue because you might already be aligned. So for example, Kat, she was doing half moon pose, and I said, bring your left hip forward to get your two hips in one line. She didn't need to move her hip because her two hips were already in one line. If she would have pushed her left hip forward, she would have pushed them out of line because they were already in line, okay? So it's just like check. Push your left hip forward to be sure both hips there, to keep both hips in one line from the side. Check, check, there in one line, nothing for Kat to do. Bring your right shoulder forward to open up your chest, opening up your rib cage. A little bit she needed to bring it forward, and that's what she did. A little bit she brought it forward, check, check. Now I've got hips in line, shoulders in one line. Now I come down maximum, and you'll hear it. Come down and push, and push, and push, how big they come up, stop in the middle. That's how long the depth of the pose was, right? So if in your mind you're like set up, boom, drop down into the maximum and then <gasps> struggle, mm -mm. my life changed when I started to understand this because it, for me it was like, okay, get into the setup and then get into my maximum depth and just hang on for dear life and give it everything I have, right? Just like, Rah! And I was just fighting my body and being super aggressive and ended up with sciatica for an entire year because I was like a maniac, pulling on everything, ah, right? So, and that might not be your personality type, but for sure that was how I approached it. So the depth, just know that the depth comes at the end of the post. So you might be someone who's so into the alignment and having everything perfect and then you don't, and then you're like, I'm not gonna go into maximum depth because I really wanna save myself for the end of the series. Like I really wanna save myself for the floor, so I'm just gonna give a little bit in the standing series. Maybe that's how more like how you are. You now give everything that you have to every posture, right? Give everything that you have, because if you don't, if you're always holding back, you're always holding back, then you never know what you're capable of. Because you're always holding back. And each time that you push yourself a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, you're getting stronger. And you won't have to hold yourself back anymore because now you can handle it. You can do the whole class at 100% of your effort because you gave the first three poses your most effort and then the next time it was your the first four your most effort. And eventually you could do 26, right? So you don't have to hold yourself back. But these are all the things that it's like learning about yourself I learned about myself that I was like, at all costs, you know, at all costs, I have to do this because that's the goal. And that's not how everybody is, but if that's you, like, you might be being a little aggressive, who knows, okay?